Right, Saxon course 2, lesson 25, is on dividing fractions. So my first question says, how many two-thirds are there in one? Now we learned in a previous lesson that when it asks how many two-thirds are in one, it's asking for the reciprocal of two-thirds. So the reciprocal of two-thirds, remember, we switch the numerator and the denominator. So my answer is three-halves. For B, it's asking how many two-thirds there are in three. Well, if there are three halves in one, to solve this problem, I'm going to do three times three halves. Okay, three times three is nine. One times two is two. So my answer is four and one half. Okay. This one, again, A, one divided by two fifths. What it's asking is how many two fifths are there in one? which again is going to be your reciprocal. So the reciprocal of two fifths is equal to five halves. For B, we're going to use the information here to solve how many two fifths there are in three fourths. So I'm going to have three fourths, and I'm going to multiply that by my reciprocal five halves. So three times five is 15, four times two is eight, so my answer is 1 and 7 eighths. Okay, with this problem, we have Sam walking 9 tenths of a mile to school. On the way to school, he passes a bank, which is 3 quarters of a mile from home. What fraction of his walk has he completed when he reaches the bank? So what we're thinking is the part is the 3 fourths of the mile. And I'm going to divide that by the 9 tenths of a mile that he's going to be walking. Now the trick when dividing fractions is we know we have to change the second number into its reciprocal. So what we say is we flip the second number and make it 10 ninths. And then we change the division sign to a multiplication sign. Okay, and then the 3 fourths stays the same. Okay, so flip and switch. Again, flip the second number into its reciprocal, and then switch the division sign into a multiplication sign. Now I'm going to multiply these. I'm going to cancel first to make it easier. 3 and 9, 3 becomes a 1, 9 becomes a 3, 10 and 4, 4 becomes a 2, 10 becomes a 5. So 1 times 5 is 5, 3 times 2 is 6. So my answer is, he was 5 sixths of the way. Okay. And that's it for this lesson.